lot of people have been asking me about my solar setup, and so I've been doing a variety of experiments. An early experiment included this very small 5 watt output solar panel, which I purchased in a local store that caters to RV users. And this is the kind of solar panel, sometimes called a trickle charger. The reason why is you let it set up and send the cable into your 12 volt car battery and eventually you'll get a charge out of it. But it does take a long time and you have to have a good amount of sunlight all day long. When you start to do this, eventually what you're going to need is an inverter of some type. This is my very first one I purchased just to kind of get the whole thing going. And so I have a uh, standard um, deep discharge design marine battery that uh, outputs 12 volts. And so, first of all, the solar panel has a cable that comes out of it and goes through these and up to the positive and negative terminals. And then there is a positive and a negative cable going into the inverter. Now if we hit this deal, you can see right now we are running right at 12.2 volts, which is, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's all the power you need for a 12 volt battery, but eventually this can get up to 12.4 or even 12.7. And of course, I just let this sit here in the sun all day and then run into my garage where I have this battery hooked up. It is to be able to plug in some small 120 items and they'll work. So now I'm able to use this light via the inverter, which converts the 12 volt battery charge and power into the 120 volt uh, electrical current and then that lets me run this light or whatever other small 120 items I want off of this small solar panel. However, I will say that after experimenting with it, if I were to do it all over again, I would uh, get a larger panel maybe as big as 30 watts. That's what I'm really having good luck with now is a 30 watt panel instead of the five watt panel or even 15 watt panel. So with apologies to my friend Bruce Falkenberg, he's much better and more knowledgeable about all this than I am. This is just the first setup that I put together so that I could have some power in my garage that I was not paying for aside from buying the battery, solar panel, the inverter, and the light. That's it for this Dr. Faux deep log.